Hey guys, what is up? We're on day one of quarantine. I have to be careful what I say on here. They'll ban this video, so bear with me. All right, so we're supposed to be social distancing. We're supposed to be staying in, staying well. Um, school's out. Um, I did have to work the first two days this week, so this is our first day on quarantine. Um, and I am so grateful and thankful and happy that I'm able to keep Connor in. He is one of the vulnerable, one of the high risk. Um, if he were to get sick, it would be bad. It wouldn't be simple. It wouldn't be just a cold like I'm hearing. It would be bad. So, I'm nervous right now, right? I'm, I'm nervous for several reasons. I'm nervous for Connor. Um... And what could happen with him? I'm nervous for the world. And what could happen right now with the world? I am nervous. I am trapped in the house with nothing but my thoughts, right? And I know all of you are too. So, I wanted to tell you what I've been doing to pass the time to mellow out my stress. It won't work for everybody, but it works for me. And so, here goes. For Christmas this year, one of the... Um, children in our room, his, um, parent got us, I put it over here already, a present. How, I mean, so sweet, such a sweet family. And they got us a coloring book. It was at Christmas, so it's Christmas. And they got us a pack of colored pencils. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't, um, color in it for a really long time because I'm just, I'm always on the go. I'm always hustle, hustle. We're always doing something. We're always, you know, and when I do have my downtime, I have shows I like to watch on TV. And I was like, oh, tonight's, you know, anyway, I'm just normally bouncing all over the place. And I'm like, Shh, well, I'm not going to have time to sit down in color. Right? Right. I mean, who has time for that? Well, now we have all the time in the world, don't we? But anyway, the last couple weeks, I started coloring in it. And once I did, I'm so addicted, y'all. I kid you not. I was just coloring, coloring. I'll show you some of it. I mean, I was just having so much fun being able to do the detail and like the houses and the lots and stuff. Um, and I'm trying to find you my favorites. And I just like getting the little bricks and trying to make each house look different. Anyway, I just had so much fun with it. And the little details you could do. I might have already showed you that one. I don't even know. And I was just I really had a ball with the little tiny ornaments and the trees and the, I just, I had a lot of fun. I really did. And, and I was like, man, this is addicting. I mean, really it is. And so, you know, um, yesterday was the last day we had to work. Um, and so they let us off or whatever. And so this was, um, next week we're on spring break. So we know we'll be off next week too. And we're just going to be barricaded in the house for a while. And I was like, man, this has been a really great outlet. And this has been a really great way to um, kind of take my mind off things. Because when I'm coloring, I'm just focusing on the details. I'm not really thinking, you know, and I'm, I'm just able to take my mind off of it. And it works well for me. Well, last night, I realized that, let me see if I can show you. My book is colored. What? My book is colored and I and I need it. Now I'm like so hooked on it and I'm about to be home all day and all night and all, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. So, it was late in the evening. It was time for Connor to go to bed. Jeremy was home. Jeremy was home. I did this video once before and I said that I put Connor to bed and then I went to the store and then I realized how it sounded. Jeremy was home. <laughs> okay, so I put Connor to bed and I'm going to go to the store and get me... Because I still had birthday money. Do you believe that? My birthday's in February. It's March. I still had birthday money. I was holding on to it, boys. I don't know what's about to happen. But anyway, so I, I'm going to go to Walmart. And I am very, I haven't been to the store in probably about two weeks. So I am very nervous. Um, and so I get to the store. I have a very sick, like, feeling in my gut. And I know this is going to sound absolutely ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous too. But I'm just telling you how I felt. I had this really sick feeling in my gut, a real eerie feeling. I went in and I was thinking, I don't want to get a buggy. But I knew I was going to pick up several things, so I'm like, I have to get a buggy. So, like, I get the buggy and, like, I'm touching the buggy and I'm telling myself in my mind, um, don't touch your face, go straight home and wash your hands, like, get, 
you know, wash your hands. And I was just, I'm going through all these things in my mind and I just have a creepy feeling and it was pretty crowded in there. Anyway, I went through and got my things. I got some markers. I got some more colored pencils. I got me like, um, a box to put them in and I got me a sharpener because I kid you not y'all, I've been using my eyeliner sharpener. I know that is horrible. I'm kind of even embarrassed to admit it. That's how little I am into makeup and stuff. Like I wear makeup every day, obviously not when I'm staying home, but um, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, I do not have, like, expensive things. This is the cheapo, just little sharpener for your eyeliner. But anyway, so I got those things, and I got me this. It was, like, five-something, which is, like, a splurge on me, because I don't spend money on myself much. And I have already, y'all, been just coloring away on it. Look at that one. And just the little... It's just, it helps. It, like, takes my mind, like, while I'm doing it, I'm not thinking about anything but this picture. And it's cool because it has um, affirmation quotes in it. So, I need that even more right now. And so, um, find you an outlet. I'm not telling you to color. I know some people are like, man, you're a grown adult color and blah, blah. So, I'm not telling you to color. Just find something that will take your mind off everything that's going on right now. Um, and it'll help. <laughs> we all kind of need our own outlet right now, or I feel like we're all going to get in a bad space mentally, um, because we are just fearful and stressed out. And, um, so, you know, I'm here with Connor, so I'm not really like here alone, but a lot of people, you know, if you live alone and you're stuck alone right now and anyway, we can just, we could all get in a bad place very fast. And it's scary, and we're not sure what else going on. And so, anyway, just find you an outlet. Seriously, you're going to need it. <laughs> and um, so, I uh, also want to encourage you to do the social distancing that they've been telling us to do if you're able. I know some people have to go to work. Um, but just don't be... Please, guys, don't be out running around for the sake of being out running around. Like, unless you need to go to the store, don't be out going to the stores just because you're bored. Like... Come on. Um, and I've had many people tell me that, like, um, I should have more faith. This is really insulting, honestly. But I've had several people tell me that I should have more faith. And, like, um, if it's God's plan, it's God's plan. And, and while I agree, and I, and I do agree with what they're saying, for one, it's in poor taste to tell someone to have more faith. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm trying not to be salty. Um I also think, like, okay, so Connor is very at risk, so I'm keeping him in, and I've got people that think that's crazy, and that's okay. Um, i got people who are telling me I don't have enough faith, I should trust God, you know, if it's our time, it'll happen anyway, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this is my answer back to that, and my answer would be, I feel you, I get it, I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, God, I feel like God gave me Connor because he knew he has instilled in me the ability to be a good mother for him. He has, he has made me the mother I need to be for him. He's made me the mother that he needs, if that makes sense. Um, and so a lot of that, a lot that comes with that is common sense. And common sense is needed here with this. Um, and so while, yes, I should trust more and I don't, we all need more faith <laughs> and to grow stronger in our faith. Um, I also think, for example, I could stop feeding Connor tomorrow and I could say, oh, I trust God. The Lord will provide his nourishment. I'm not going to do that. Don't freak out. <laughs> but, um, God gave me more common sense than that. And I think in this situation, it's kind of the same thing. I hope that makes sense to you. God gave me more sense than to have my vulnerable child out running around in the Walmart and going from house to house and going here and hanging out and going there. He gave me more common sense than that. Um, and so we are locked in tight right now. Connor ain't going to any stores. Um, we are staying out of the public. We are, we are trying to be smart here. Um, it's not anything that... I think it's not got anything to do with my trust in God. It's just 
what they're telling us to do right now. It's smart. It's it, I feel like it's the smartest decision for my family, and so that's what I'm doing. And I shouldn't have to justify it further than that. If I'm not causing him any harm, then it's really not anybody's business. And I'm not causing anybody else harm. I hope that makes sense. I don't mean to sound salty, but I'm kind of aggravated with it um, because I just feel like I'm getting hit with a lot of you should, you should, you should. And it's kind of, it's not even kind of, it's very offensive when someone says, you know, you should, you should trust God more and they don't know anything about your relationship with Christ. So anyway, we should trust God right now, guys, right? God's got a purpose. God's got a plan for this. It's hard to understand it right now. Our world has changed. It's going to continue changing. I'm afraid it's going to get way worse before it gets better. Um, we don't know what's happening. We There's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of uncertainty. And there's a lot of fear. And so, um, anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and tell you a little outlet I found for myself. So, try to find yourself an outlet so that we can stay in a good place mentally while we're trying to stay protected physically. <laughs> I hope all this made sense. I will talk to you guys soon probably because, you know, I'll be home and I'll have the time. So, hey, <laughs> be safe, guys.